greeting to all viewers and phone call. We extend our best wishes for a productive and energetic day. Now let's recap the highlight of the part 22 hour. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay informed about any information update. Flooding continued to pour thousands of tons of water from the sky into China from yesterday night until this morning. Still showing no sign of ending, causing many low-lying areas of China to sink. Many houses up to five to six floors high were also flooded to the roof. The damage was extremely heavy. And according to the China Central Hydrometeorological Forecasting Center, as of today, the country has spent 63 days and nights without knowing the sunlight. This sky of China is continuously dark, cloudy by the rains from the upstream of the Yangtze River and the Three Gorges Dam, causing many Chinese provinces and cities to continue to be flooded from 3 to 5 meters deep. The city of Anhui, one of the cities bordering Wuhan, Hubei and Hunan, is said to have been hit by heavy to very heavy rains yesterday. The amount of rain measured in Anhui City at 2 p.m. to early morning today reached 500 mm per second, causing an airport, a port, a military base and 1698 houses to be flooded and destroyed. Damage was estimated at 80 billion yuan. However, a resident named Cheng Li Ying said that currently, Xi Jinping's government has not taken any action to take care of the people, but his government is busy invading the South China Sea. We have to completely manage on our own and many people have to live in the state of lost water, broken houses, living in the sight of heaven and earth. However, the subsidies that a number of countries in the world, including Vietnam, have supported to donate you Sony $100,000 to us have already been invested in the military by his government. Now we have no food, no medicine, so we have to run to different places to ask for help. We were going to run to Vietnam but the border of Vietnam was closed, so we called on Vietnam to open the door to let us come in. We promised to fully comply with Vietnam's laws as well as medical checks, to avoid infection of the COVID-19 epidemic. However, according to observers, it is impossible to trust the words of the Chinese people, because they often say one thing and do another, and if we believe in them, we will be deceived by Mr. Xi Jinping. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a news that is quite shocking, when yesterday Mr. Xi signed a decision to build a new aircraft carrier named Guangdong-3. The purpose is to strengthen the force. Beijing's navy goes out into the South China Sea to control countries in the region, including Vietnam. This is the reason why Mr. Xi did not appear in the flood-prone areas, because Mr. Xi still engrossed in his plans, his plots, including a plot that is considered extremely dangerous. It was the head of the Communist Party of China, Mr. Xi shook hands with Mr. Li Qichong, Mr. Wei Feng and Ms. Hua Chenying determined in 2022 how to occupy 95% of the area outside the South China Sea. Then China will dominate the world, Mr. Xi said that through the Kaohsiung Road and seven artificial islands, China announced to countries in Southeast Asia as well as countries around the world that the South China Sea was an indispensable part separate from China and that's part of Beijing. Despite the fierce opposition of countries around the world as well as in ASEAN, Mr. Xi decided to use the money that countries donated to their flood victims to build an additional aircraft carrier. Name Cantonese 3. This ship is expected to be launched by the end of this year, demonstrating its strength and majesty to all countries in the region. Mr. Wei Feng, Minister of National Defense of China and a close aide of Mr. Xi Jinping, boldly declared to domestic and international media when he said that there would be no one without him. Any country, including the US, Russia, Japan, South Korea and the European Union, Britain, France and Germany, can match China's navy in the East Sea if, by the end of this year, China welcomes received a large, modern aircraft carrier in the world named Guangdong-3. We also emphasize that countries will have to respect and admire China because by the end of this year, in addition to the two aircraft carriers that are actively operating in the East Sea named Lining and Shandong. The Beijing's army also has one of the largest warships in the world and this is Beijing's military strength, military strength and naval power. However, as soon as the speeches of Mr. Wei Feng and Mr. Xi Jinping ended, experts and military experts around the world said that China's aircraft carrier is just a giant ship. And scumbags, go and steal intellectual property rights and patents from countries around the world to come back in the morning, 
invent an aircraft carrier to bully countries in the region, but it is impossible to bully the US and the US. Russia. Because the two digital powers, some in the world both understand that China cannot build an aircraft carrier on its own. This has been reported by Russian military experts that Xi Jinping's government has spent some money to buy back the obsolete aircraft carrier discharge from Ukraine and then research and built it. Aircraft carrier named Lining to scare countries in the region. In fact, the Lining aircraft carrier does not have any modern weapons and equipment, but the Chinese side celebrates that it is one of the most modern aircraft carriers in Asia and in the area. No other country can match Beijing's navy. But observers said that it was just a deception to the world to show Beijing's extravagance, but in fact, the Chinese warships built by themselves were just imitations and poor quality goods. Never mind. If the US Navy launched a missile from the ships and aircraft carriers of the normal US Thai fleet, the Chinese ships would be immediately sunk. Super Thunder Rumble Don Don, hitting the capital Beijing and some other areas of China, the East Sea continued to stir when American and Australian warships approached China's navy around four capelago. Lam, ladies and gentlemen, at dawn today. Many Chinese newspapers reported that yesterday night, suddenly a super thunderstorm hit the headquarters of the government of Mr. Xi Jinping. In the capital Beijing, prompting the country's officials to go underground for shelter. Fortunately, the thunder struck the Thule column, otherwise Mr. Xi Jinping would have been hit by thunder. According to the source, if the god of thunder and lightning hit Xi Jinping, the head of the Communist Party of China will not be able to wash away all the sins. Because what he has done to the world is so much, it can be mentioned that he constantly strengthens military forces, China's military has aggressively moved out into the South China Sea in order to occupy the archipelagos. In the Gulf of Tonkin region. In addition, Mr. She also took advantage of the COVID-19 epidemic to sell items such as medical masks and ventilators to 50 countries around the world, including the UK, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, etc. With sky-high prices to profit and bring a huge amount of money to Beijing. Not only that, Mr. Xi Jinping also took the money from other countries to help the Chinese people who suffered from floods and natural disasters to spend. In addition, he also used that money to invest in building warships to bring out to the East Sea, in addition to many other crimes. That is why heavy rains, storms as well as floods continuously poured into China, making the country's largest Three Gorges Dam about to burst, and when it broke, surely the government of China Xi Jinping will be wiped out, then the world will surely be at peace, ladies and gentlemen, according to information that we have just gathered from social networking sites such as TikTok and some Chinese newspapers, at dawn this morning, China suffered another earthquake. Strong earthquake 5.1 magnitude. The epicenter was about 60 kilometers from the capital Beijing. The earthquake shook high-rise buildings in Beijing and surrounding areas. In places near the epicenter of the earthquake, houses were destroyed. Because of the heavy rains and floods in the past few days, the ground in China is very weak. Now it is affected by earthquakes, causing 30 houses to collapse. Thousands of hectares of crops are destroyed. The damage is extremely heavy. Not only that, heavy to very heavy rain continues to pour thousands of tons of water into China, and according to the China Central Flood Control Center statistics, China has just turned 60 days today. Night without sun. China's sky constantly appears gray, murky and dark. Many people think that it seems that God continues to inflict painful blows on China to punish the Xi Jinping government for its crimes. The wrong way that he has shown for Vietnam as well as for the world and it seems that God has not yet let go of China. Ladies and gentlemen, at 6 am today, in a weather forecast report on China Central Television, the National Center for Hydrometeorological Forecasting said that China will continue to receive and face eight heavy to very heavy rains with flash floods, pipe floods, landslides and tornadoes that will appear in the upstream and downstream areas of the Three Gorges Dam and the Yangtze River. And if this happens, there is a high probability that China's Three Gorges Dam will break up to 99% and countries need to pay attention to the Chinese, because it is likely that they will continue to cross the border legally. Overflow to avoid the Three Gorges Dam and the risk of disease transmission is very high. A level 17 storm suddenly hit China at on this morning, engulfing some areas in Hunan province. 
causing the Phoenix ancient town tourist area in this city to continue to be submerged in water up to 4 meters. Many low-lying places are flooded up to 5 meters and 6 meters, causing many people of China to continue to pack the lufa to move to places to take shelter. And the head of the Communist Party of China is said to be still engrossed in sending Beijing's army to bring aircraft, warships, and heavy weapons, lethal weapons, and missiles to the South China Sea, to threaten the South China Sea threatened countries in the region. The head of China is said to be occupying islands in the South China Sea, not worrying about his country's people when floods and earthquakes, tsunamis, flash floods, landslides, and dikes break continuously. Happened to 28 southern provinces of China, causing millions of people of this country to flee in panic. Many Chinese people are scrambling to spend 5,000 yuan to get brokers to bring people illegally across the border to Vietnam. However, all were arrested by the Vietnamese border forces at the battle and sent to urgent re-education to detour Chinese criminals who wanted to bring infectious diseases into Vietnam's country. Ladies and gentlemen, at 7 o'clock, local time yesterday evening, on China Central Television CCTV in the weather forecast, it was said that heavy rain and high winds will continue to sweep the country. By dawn this morning, heavy to very heavy rains continued to pour thousands of tons of water from the sky into China causing electricity, roads, schools, and stations in some provinces such as Hubei and Honam, Anhui and Sichuan continued to be submerged in floodwaters. People of China continued to flee the flash floods and landslides downstream of the Yangtze River and the Three Gorges Dam to seek shelter. Countries that have borders with China, such as southern Laos and Myanmar, North Korea and Russia are the countries that the Chinese want to flee to to avoid floods so will continue to update you and the next newsletter. As for today's program, due to limited time, we would like to pause here. Wishing you a day full of health. We very best regards and see you soon. This concludes the news program of 22 Hour. We appreciate your attention and support. Please leave your comment in the video's comment section so that we can promptly respond to any question or feedback you may have.